Hi Fire Signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross watching and welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at who is it that's constantly thinking about you. Okay, so who is it that has you on their mind lately? And what are their thoughts telling them? It is going to be a general reading, so please just keep that in mind. If you are after a personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. So once again, this reading is intended for all fire signs, so that's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, and also those cross-watching. Let's go ahead and begin. Okay, so who is it that's thinking about you? This person feels deeply connected to you. Okay, now I can see that there is some sort of distance between the two of you. I'm not sure whether this means that there is a separation, like you guys might have been romantically connected in the past, but right now there's some sort of separation or a period of non-communication. For others, maybe this is someone who thinks about you constantly, but hasn't yet reached out or hasn't yet communicated with you just recently because it there seems to be some sort of blockages around this person or around this connection here now this is someone whom i feel like for a lot of you you've had a very well to put it this way i feel like with the wheel of fortune here there was a lot of emotional intricacies to this connection okay or, or there still may be i feel like it was a very emotionally stated complicated state of affairs here now, this is someone whom you may have had past, a past with, okay? Someone whom you've had history. Something about this connection and the energies feels like this may have been a soulmate or a soul partner. And even though the two of you may be at a distance, whether it's geographical distance or at emotional distance, this person still spends a great deal of their time thinking about you. Now, this is someone who's doing a lot of reflecting here. In the past, they didn't always make the best choices, Okay, and they didn't always necessarily express to you how they truly felt. This is someone who does care about you. This is someone who does feel very connected to you. There's this emotional thread that still keeps the two of you connected here. This is someone who feels as though you've had like a psychic connection. Like whenever this person thought of you, a lot of the times they would then hear from you. Okay, so there's this psychic connection that I'm picking up in the spread here. Now there was something about this connection, as I mentioned, there was a lot of intricacies, but there's something about this connection in which this person felt like the both of you had invested so much of yourself into this connection, but somehow things just didn't necessarily pay off in the end. I can see that there was a lot of deceptions, okay? There may have been a web of deceit that this person was weaving and somehow got, you know, caught up in it themselves. There may have been trust may have been lost or broken in this connection. Um, there may have been dishonesty, disloyalty, and maybe those are the very factors that have stunted the growth of this connection. But even though, because swords are a weapon and they're a destructive kind of energy, but they're also governed by mental energy. So this tells us that even though this person he has hurt you, Okay, and even though they know that their actions didn't always serve them positively, and it didn't always serve this connection positively, they're doing a lot of thinking right now in a sense where I feel like there's a lot of regrets that they hold. If they could do things differently, they would. The other thing is this, even though this person thinks about you a lot, it's like they have a hard time sort of stringing the words together. I can see there's not necessarily been any communication lately. Or if there is communication between the two of you, this person thinks about you so much more than they let on. And I feel like this person's feelings for you are so much stronger than you actually know them to be. So there's a lot that this person is not telling you. And purely because with the Seven Swords energy, to me, it also indicates that this person is not being upfront 
to themselves about their feelings for you so things may have ended for you or things may you guys may be on a break or a separation right now but it seems as though their feelings for you haven't necessarily ended there will be communication here in the future but for the meantime i feel like your person here there's a lot of things that they need to work on themselves here so some inner work that needs to happen guys um when they had you they took you for granted okay they didn't necessarily know just how good they had it when they were in a relationship or they were in a connection with you okay it, it's sadly it's a case of not knowing what you have until it's gone and unfortunately and sadly it's taking your absence for them to realize just how much they've lost when they've lost you and when this connection here has come to a halt a standstill there's an element of waiting with the seven of pentacles here it appears as though this person is waiting either for the right time to reach out and communicate with you or they're waiting for you to contact them. However, I am seeing that someone here has blocked someone. So if it's them that has done the blocking here, so if they blocked your number here, or they've blocked you on some sort of platform, you know, social media or WhatsApp or wherever you're blocked, it appears as though this is, they're kind of playing mind games with you because ultimately the reason why they've blocked you is a cry for your attention okay it's to get you to chase them or to get you to notice that they're hurting so there's something going on with their energy and i feel like even though they might have hurt you in the past here i feel like this person still loves you the other thing that comes to mind here is that be, be mindful that people that are hurting themselves tend to go around and hurt those who are closest to them. And I feel like a little bit a little bit of that has also come into play here. Your individual ha is a very, they're a pained energy, okay? I feel like your individual has some behavioral patterns which feel very destructive. You know, the fact that they are hurting, they tend to project their hurt outwards as well. There's that. Um, now, if you're the one that's doing the blocking here, and if you're the one that's blocked your individual, then it appears as though your person here is waiting, waiting to for like for you either to unblock them or waiting until the day when you finally reach out and decide to communicate here. But there's definitely a strong sense of waiting here. The waiting could be that a part of them believes they truly wholeheartedly believe that if this is meant to be everything will sort of just work itself out the universe will work its magic key work its alchemy and it will make sure that the two of you gravitate back towards one another so perhaps this is what they're waiting for okay just waiting for everything to sort of fall into place and come into alignment um but there is someone who's doing some thinking about you even though they're not necessarily communicating with you it feels as though this is an energy that holds a lot of regret in their energy field and it's because they wish they were a different person when they were with you because I feel like during it seems as though there's been um, shifts taking place in, in their energy and it's, it's like some transformation or even a metamorphosis has been going on with them here and it seems like they've done a lot of growing up and a lot of learning and a lot of evolving since since the last time you guys have connected here but deep down inside I feel like this person still feels a very strong emotional connection with you okay they feel very emotionally connected he still and at the end of the day I feel like even if you guys do decide to end things on one level you'll always have a piece of their heart like on some level you'll always have that you will always share that emotional connection there's just something about this in which this person feels very very drawn to you I don't know if you were their first here um, I don't know if you might have been yeah the first true love I don't know if this relationship was very because of its complexities and intricacies, they've, you know, they've grown and they've learned a lot. I don't know what it is, but this person feels very deeply connected to you. Okay. Um, alrighty, guys. And these are your messages. Thanks for watching and listening. Um, please show your support by subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing. For those interested in a personal reading, feel free to connect. Otherwise, guys, take care. Feel free to check out my other um, videos here on the channel. And bye for now.